Hello, I'm Cleopatra Wallace, and this video is all about David Depath. Now, David Depath is the man who attacked Nancy Pelosi's Nancy Pelosi's husband on October the 28th with a hammer in San Francisco. So we are going to watch a little bit of some footage here. Let me hit the disclaimer. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for the fair use for the purpose such as criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and or research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All right. Let me right. It. So she listens in, turns up the volume. And to disconnect, but times and he's got word. He's right. got word that something was happening. So this starts to unfold at some point in the early morning hours when the defendant, who's charged here, gets in the house um, and encounters um, Mr. Pelosi. And Mr. Pelosi can tell this guy's unhinged. This is going bad. So somehow he gets on his cell phone and dials 911 surreptitiously. And he leaves that line open. It may be in his pocket, maybe on the table. But at that point, Heather Grimes, an emergency dis dispatcher at San Francisco police, get this happens all the time. You get a call. There's no voice on the other end of it. Hello, hello, 911. What's your emergency? And sometimes you disconnect. But She's sensing something. There's a conversation going on in the background. She's sensing something isn't right. So she listens in, turns up the volume, and Paul Pelosi is basically trying to tell her in code what's going on. Why are you here? What are you going to do to me? I mean, you can imagine how he's trying to not let the, the, the attacker know that 911 is listening, but he gives enough information. So she puts out a priority A wellness call. A wellness call is very common. I haven't heard from my Aunt Sally in a week. Could you go check on the house? This is a something's going on right now that's not right in the house. So they go code three. And Kobe Willens, the, the, the first officer, his partner Kyle, come through the door. And Pelosi apparently is still trying to keep this down by playing off, you know, as the police come in, what's going on. Then he goes to, you know, grab the hammer and our six foot two... 250 pound assailant um, hits him in the head as the officers are crossing the room. All of this is on body camera. Uh -huh. And, you know, eventually in some criminal proceeding may come out. All right. So. So I'm going to um, read a little bit of my notes and then we're going to get started. Now, Paul Pelosi is 82 years old, and the man who attacked him was 42. Paul Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi live in San Francisco. So spirit guides, holy angels, and ancestors gather around, because I'm going to tell you the zip codes. The Pelosi home is in zip code 94518. And our perpetrator or assailant, David DePaps, is 42 years old. He um, He's from Richmond, California, which is, I guess, just a little bit up the road from where the Pelosi's live. Now, David DePaps zip code is four. No, David DePaps zip code is 94804. He's 42 years old, and he has been charged with six felonies. Everything from attempted kidnapping, assault of a relative of a federal official, abuse of and abuse of elderly, and attempted murder, all type of things. And he's been living in a garage for the last two years on Shasta Street. And his neighbors described him as odd, but not very interesting. All right. And also, when he broke into the Pelosi home, it was 2.30 in the morning, October the 28th. All right, so let's get started. 
Let me talk about it a little more. I'm going to start shuffling the cards. Now, what I'm wondering is, was David Depep one of those one of those incels? If you don't know what an incel is, an incel is a person who is involuntarily celibate because they are just so odd or off-putting to the opposite sex that really no one would touch them. And there are a lot of these out there, but I don't know. I'm not sure if he was an incel. Make sure the cards are right first. I'm not sure if he's an incel or um just a a crazy person. Now, in the police affidavit, he says that he compares himself to the founding fathers. And it's also important to note that he must have a hell of a set of balls on him because he stayed at the house even though he knew that Paul Pelosi had called the police. And of course, by the time they got there, him and Paul Pelosi were arguing, well not arguing, but tussling a little over the hammer, but he was able to strike Paul Pelosi right in the top of his head, causing him to have to get a um, a, a surgery for a skull, fracture skull, of course. All right, so we have one. I like to start with four or more. And right now I'm using the Beauty of Horror deck. All right, now back to the story. He was, um, they were in there tussling with the hammer, but he was able to strike him right in the top of, oh, another one, was able to strike him right in the top of his head in view of the police. Now, the reason why I'm doing this read is because I want to know what was he going to do if Nancy was there, and I also want to know, was he working alone? And just what was the energy of it? And thank God, Paul Pelosi is going to live. But my God, can you imagine? He came in through a um, a rear window in the kitchen. You know, he had those sliding glass windows. And he was armed with two hammers. All right, we have another one. We only need one more. I like to start with four more. All right, Spirit wants to switch decks. So we're going to go over to my favorite, the Omega deck, to get our last one. And this one, you know, I have to shuffle in two parts because the card stock is so thick. Now, if the cards fall to the floor, I only read the ones that fall face down. And if, let me make sure these cards are right. And if too many come out, I take the top and the bottom. All right, everybody's right now. Now, I know you may be wondering, so where was Nancy while her husband was being attacked? Well, you know, when you're the house speaker or number three in the U.S. government, you are always busy. So, of course, Nancy was on Capitol Hill with her security detail. And another curious thing is their security at the Pelosi home and it was caught on video, but would you believe no one was watching the camera? You know, someone got fired for this, for sure. Someone's head is going to have to roll. All right. So, Spirit, also, I want to know what was security doing that they were so busy that they couldn't secure the Pelosi home. All right. Enough shuffling. Get to one more card. Yes. So now he is um, expected to make a recovery. And of course, um, you know, Joe Biden called and, you know, gave his sympathies and well wishes to the Pelosi family. But another thing I found that oh, we have our fourth card. But another thing I found that was interesting in this whole thing is in the police affidavit, he also said that he wanted to lure another person. And by lure, I mean, he wanted to try to exchange one of the Pelosi's for another government official, right? How scandalous. All right, so let's start. Oh, I can never find this pencil thing. So we're going to use my crochet needle to point.
All right, the first card out is the Page of Swords. Let's have a look. Hmm. This is this is very interesting right away. You see how the Page of Swords is right there on the hill with the one foot extended? Who does this remind you of? It's the Fool, right? You know, the Fool is always just about to take a step off of the hill and fall because, you know, he's a fool. He doesn't know what he's doing. So right away, this is like a mimicking or a um, a mirroring energy. All right, very good. We have a mirroring of the fool. All right, the next card up. And also, this mirroring of the fool thing could be like schizophrenic. Because, you know, in your mind, if you're crazy, you always have these, thought, these thoughts of grandeur. And like I said, the man, he compared himself to the founding fathers. So that's spot on right there. All right. So the next card that came out is the Three of Wands. And of course, I'm going to clarify all of these cards. Now, the Three of Wands usually signifies working in a group. And this is what I was wanting to know is, was he working alone? Strange. They are signifying on this um, card. You see how his um, sleeve is ripped off? That is his right hand. And, you know, he struck Paul Pelosi in the head with his right hand. So I guess Spirit is trying to show us that he um, he doesn't have very many muscles. But I don't know. It's like Frankenstein together. But also, he's um, this guy has horns in this picture and a tail. So he's kind of devilish there with that right hand activity. I don't know. There's a little bit of definition in there. Well, we know he hit him hard. He fractured, fractured his skull, for Christ's sake. So, yeah. All right. But also, you know what I'm not seeing in none of these cards? I'm going to read the last two. Then we're going to clarify. I'm going to tell you what it is because already one of our questions have been answered. All right, the next card that came out is the Four of Coins. Let me turn my second down. All right. In this card, he's definitely outside. I don't know if this is like his little home or his lair where he comes out of right here. Because he lives in a garage. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna put where he lives as the thumbnail for this video. So this is his little home or his lair in there. So we're gonna ask questions about what all goes on in there as well. All right, and the last card that came out is the Two of Swords, which is a choice. Now, he could have went either way, and they did say, see how he had both of these? Even though it's one guy, he's holding the two crossbows. When they went in his bag, there was another hammer. He had two hammers, a duct tape, and some zip ties. But you notice something about these all four of these cards? They're all alone. It's one person in every car. It's just him. So that's one of our questions already has been answered. He's been working alone from the beginning. All right. So 
since this is him, let's ask a few questions about his um, mirroring energy. All right, spirit. So right now, we I want to be in zip code nine four five one eight, and the call to the police came in at two twelve. No, at um two thirty two a.m. Paul Pelosi snuck over into the bathroom and called nine one one. So I want to be. In zip code 94518, I want to be at the Pelosi residence, and I want to be there at 2.25 a.m. in the morning. So it's 2.25 a.m. We're in zip code 94518. We're outside the Pelosi home with David Depop. What's the energy? Not in here? All right. Let's look over here into this deck. We're going to look in the Edgar Allan Poe deck. This is mirroring it. Trying to make it to where you can read the cards, right? Go back the other way. All right, that's right. I feel like I had too much coffee. Okay. All right, Spirit, we are in San Francisco, California. We're in zip code 94518. We're outside the Pelosi home. We're with David Pope, David D. Pep. He's about to go into the Pelosi home. Right now, he feels like he's one of the founding fathers. And he doesn't know whether or not Nancy's inside yet. Can you give me what his energy is like at this moment, right before he enters the Pelosi home? Oh, there we have it. All right. Ha. The devil. So this is how he's feeling right before he goes in. And this is a woman. You can tell this is a woman who's wearing, you know, purple is the royal color. Like I said, Nancy's number three in our government. And look at the black cat on top of the head. This is how he's feeling. Right now, he doesn't know whether or not she's in the house. This was his energy. Terrifying, isn't it? All right. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So, let's now pop over to the right arm card. I'm going to try again to use the spider deck because it's my favorite deck and it's rare. This is my third time having it. You can't find it anymore, this particular deck. Okay. All right, Spirit. Like I said, it's um, it's 2.30. Well, now let's move the clock up. to the, We're inside the house now. So, yeah, I wanted to still be. It was. It's still settle down, everybody. It's still 2.25 a.m. This whole event happens. I didn't write down the timeline for the spirits tonight. They're getting antsy. Okay. All right, people. The timeline begins at 2.12 a.m. The timeline ends at 3 a.m. At 3 a.m., it's all said and done. And at 2.12 a.m. in the beginning, it's just about to get started. So, we have a window of an hour and 12 minutes. Is everyone happy now? An hour and 12 minute window. Jeez. But right now, it's 2.25 a.m. And we're in zip code 94518. We are now inside the Pelosi home. 
and Paul and David. Oh, ha ha. Ah, bad news. So this is will be when um David finds out that Nancy is not in there. He's not happy either. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sorry, David. Your target's not in there. He was about to strong arm. Spirit said he was about to strong arm the crap out of um not everything's making noises and stuff. He is about to strong arm the crap out of Nancy. But yeah, he gets the bad news that she's not in there. All right. So since we're here right now, this is a perfect opportunity to ask the question that I want to know. I want to know, why did he stay after the police were called? And Nancy wasn't in there. It's like, you definitely, you're, you're, why? And he was working alone, according to the cards. He was, I don't know, I don't know what he was thinking, but he was working alone. All right, Spirit, we can move the clock up now. Make sure the cards are right. It is now, what time is it? It is now, if the police, the phone calls made at 2.32 a.m. We're we're at around it's around two forty five. It's somewhere between two forty five and two fifty AM. West Coast time. All right, spirit. So we're between two fifty and three AM. We are inside the Pelosi home, which is in the zip code nine four five one eight. We are with Paul Pelosi, who is eighty two, and David Depot who is 42, can you tell me right now why did David not leave the Pelosi home after the police were called? And there we have it. We have the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. He still wanted to do some damage. I really think he was trying to kill that man because he waited until the police came to strike him with the hammer. You see the way this knife is right here? It goes through the cake. He wanted to be discovered. I don't know what what maybe he's thinking that he was going to get famous or something. All right. Now this is a great time. Now spirit, listen carefully. We are going to switch zip codes. Remember the Lara card that um goes inside his little weird garage apartment. We're going to go investigate that scene. I want to know what else he was in there doing. We're going to go back to the Omega Land deck. So now it is. Let's go back in time six weeks from October the 28th. Hold on, I got to look at the calendar. All right, so six weeks into the past is September the 16th, because I want to know what he was doing six weeks before he um did this, because a lot can happen in six weeks. So for some reason, it's my, I like, I just like the six week period. All right, spirit. So we are now going to go to David DePap's home. In Richmond, California. 
where he lives in a tiny garage. He's in the zip code 948. Well, he's not in that zip code no more. <laughs> That's not funny. Stop it. He's in the zip code 94804. It's the date of September the 16th of 2022. Can you tell me what his energy is like? inside his home six weeks ago in the zip code of 94804. What was David Peacock doing six weeks before he attacked Paul Pelosi? He's living in the zip code 94804. He's in a garage. It's around the date September the 16th of 2022. What is his energy like? Ha! I knew it. The fool. Didn't I say he was mimicking, mirroring the fool? But the fool in itself is starting on a journey. But not only is it starting on a journey, but this particular fool card, because, you know, I have a, a bunch of different decks here and a, a bunch of different fool cards. But this particular fool here is schizophrenic because the fools always have a pet with them. It can be a bird, a squirrel, a dog, a cat, anything. But this particular fool's pet is a shadow. Now, who has a shadow as a pet? That's the only other living thing in this picture. And it's not his shadow because it's going that way. So his pet is a shadow. And this has come up a few times before in some readings. And it has been a signifier of a person being schizophrenic. So, you know, I'm not surprised to see that um, he was in there being a, a schizo six weeks ago. All right. So I think we have answered all of our questions except for one. I want to know what's next for Nancy. Because we know what's next for him, face it. He's about to go to a federal prison and eat dog food for the rest of his life. All right, so Spirit, so now take us to today. Today's date is November the 2nd of 2022. We are in all of the zip codes. Go up really high over North America. And can you tell us what is next for the fabulous house speaker, Nancy Pelosi? What can we expect to see from her going forward? We want to see Nancy's energy. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, no. I wasn't expecting this to come out, but I'm going to tell you what this means. I think Nancy may be about to either make some new laws, or it's just a lot of, um, it's, I, honestly, it's, it's violent energy, okay? This is violence. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But in this story, this ape breaks into these people's houses, and he goes crazy, and he tears up all of this stuff. And when the um, inspector comes, the guy's telling them that it's like an ape in there. And it's such an unbelievable story that they're like, there is no ape in there. But there is. So, I don't know. I guess maybe Nancy's going to be looking for the ape. I mean, I would be. All right. I know you're thinking, why am I not covering the other big story about Takeoff being um, murdered in Houston? I'm going to be honest with you. Um, 
I've, I've witnessed a bunch of dice games and it's kind of, I kind of consider that story like a little bit of, um, it's so many people already covering it and not only that, but, um, there's no mystery there. There's, there's, there's nothing to talk about. And not only that, but I, um, if you go back, I did a video a few days ago called the energy check pep talk. And, um, I talk about programs that are going to be running and celebrities losing their mind. Now, granted, when I said somebody's going to lose their mind, I didn't think somebody was going to actually get shot in their mind. But, you know, yeah. But anyways, I am Cleopatra Wallace. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because who knows what's going to happen next.